never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to please you, Lord. It doesn't take a trophy to make you proud. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Tormis läbi Kui teiga otta pead, kõrvus sinu hääl, tuleb õllus kaigub kiskud ees mind välja seal. Kui jään kaugel hätta, mind päästan saan. Su lähedus on päris, seda tunne ma. Oled mu hiire varustaja. Kõik, mis ümber näin, oled mu hiire, küllusik juuma. I don't wanna forget how I feel right now. On the mountain top, I can see so clear what is all about. Stay by my side when the sun goes down. Don't wanna forget how I feel right now. You are a chaira, you are in love. Chaira, you are in love. And I will be content in every circumstance. Forever enough, always enough, more than enough. Mu valinud sa, et mind armastada, kes olen ma tea. Su sõna ma tunne, mind armastad sa, enam kui suud on mõista. Ja see on pii.
Aren't you thankful that that grave is empty this morning? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Well, would you turn on the lights and can we just turn and greet one another this morning? It is good to see everybody in church on Easter Sunday. Amen. 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 Happy Easter to all of you who are here and all who are watching online. Uh, we've got a great service for, for you today. You're going to be glad that you came. Praise God. Well, we also want to take an offering for the church. But I want to read out of Malachi chapter 3 this morning for the offering. And I want to see what God says about giving. And God is speaking here and he said, Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? And you have cheated me in tithes and offerings that were due me. And you are under a curse. The whole nation has been cheating me. And so God gives them the, 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 uh, the answer to get free from this curse. And in verse 10, he said, bring all the tithe into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. And if you do, the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open up the heavens for you and I will pour out a blessing so great that you will not have enough room to take it in. Ja proovige mind ometi sellega, ütleb väge teissand. Tõesti ma avan teile taeva luugid ja kallan teile õnnistust külastuseni. Try it and put me to the test. Proovige mind ometi sellega, ütleb isand. And so God is challenging us and challenging them. Jumal esitab välja kutse neile ja meile. That if we would put him first. Et kui me paneme tema esimeseks. If we would look to him to be all that we need him to be. That he would come through and he would be an amazing God for us. And so our Heavenly Father has a plan for your life. He wants you to be blessed. But he cannot bless you until you do your part in your giving. And this means when, when, when we are not holding back from God what is His. We know God's command is to give the 10%. And this is the same for everybody. It's 10 cents out of every euro. And so whatever God puts into your hands, 10 cents belongs to Him. And then we can live off of the, the rest and do what, what the Lord leads us to do with our finances. But God also talks about giving offerings. And we need to, to follow and obey the Holy Spirit in our giving. And so we just need to see everything that we get into our hands is God's. And this helps us to be able to release it. And God said, I will bless you. But I want you to bless my bride. I want you to bless my church. And so I, just, you give, I will give to you and you give 10% to, to my bride. And then when you give in special areas. Ja kui sa annad erilistes valdkondades. Towards special ministries or special events. Teistele kogudustele või teini igasugustele Kristuse ihus olevatele. Or when you give to the poor. All these things are you be led by the Holy Spirit in your giving. And you give trusting God. And God said, test me. Amen. Test God in your giving. And watch what he is going to do for you. 
ja vaata, mida tema teeb sinu jaoks. You know, the, the, this is the one area that God invites us to put him to the challenge. See on üks valdkond, kus Jumal on kutsunud meid ülesse, et me ta on esitanud välja kutse meile. And I've never, I've never met anybody who, who ties that is sad that they tie. Ja ma ei ole kedagi kohanud siia maani, kes oleks kurb selle üle, et nad on andnud kümnist ja Because they're seeing God bless them. Sest nad on näinud, et Jumal õnnistab neid. But I've heard a lot of people say, I can't afford to tie. Aga ma olen kuulnud paljusid ütlemas, et ma ei saa endale lubada. And if you have that mentality, ja kui sul on selline mõtteviis, you will never be able to afford to tie. Siis sa, siis sa ei jõua kunagi sinna kohta, kus sa saad endale lubada. And I believe you will be robbing God from the opportunity to bless you. Ja, ja mida, mis see toimub on see, ma usun, et sa röövid Jumalalt võimaluse ennast õnnistada. I don't think God is worried about money. Ma ei usu, et Jumal on muretseb raha pärast. I think God has, has got enough to do what he wants to do on the earth. Jumal on kõike küllalt, et teha, mida iganes vaja on teha maa peal. But he wants to bless his people. Aga ta tahab õnnistada oma inimesi. Aren't you thankful for that? Kas sa oled tänulik selle? God wants to bless you. Jumal tahab sind õnnistada. And so he said, don't rob me of this opportunity. Ja ta ütles, et ära röövi minult seda võimalust. You give to me. Ja sa anna minule. And he said, and I will open up the windows of heaven. Ja mina avan taeva aknad. And I will bless your life. Ja mina õnnistan sinu elu. Do you believe that this morning? Amen, I believe it with all my heart. God bless you as you give. We're so thankful for your faithfulness. God is good. I just want to welcome you home this morning. I'm so thankful that, that you are here with us. Ja ma olen nii tänulik, et sa oled siin koos meiega. We are on a series that we're going to be ending today that we've called Happy. Ja me oleme sinuga koos seerias, millele ma panin nimeks Õnnelik. And I can't think of a better uh, way to end this series. Ja ma ei leia paremat viisi seda seeriat lõpetada. Than to say Happy Easter. Kui öelda hea, head ülestõus. Amen. Ühe. I am so thankful that we have something to be happy about. Ja ma olen nii rõõmus, et meil on midagi, mille üle õnnelik olla. And today we serve a risen Savior. Ja täna me teenime ülestõusnud pääst. And because he is alive. Ja see tõttu, et ta on elus. He provides for us a way for us to be happy in life. Ja annab ta meile viisi olla õnnelik. And the, olla õnnelik. our joy should, should be so full. Ja meie rõõm peaks olema nii täielik. That it cannot even be contained. Et seda ei saa isegi millegi sisse ära mahutada. And that our happiness and our joy would spill out onto other people's lives. Ja meie rõõm ja meie õnn äh, laieneb ka teiste inimeste eludele. And when you show up in a room. Ja kui sina ilmud mingisse kohta. When you show up wherever it is that you go. Ja kui sa ilmud sinna, kus sa, kus sa paras ja kui oled minemas. That you would change the atmosphere because of what you bring with you. Siis sina muudad selle koha atmosfääri selle tõttu, mis sinuga kaasas on. And that is why we should be so happy. Ja see on see, miks me peaksime olema nii õnnelikud. Because we have something that he has given us that we cannot explain. Sest meil on midagi, mis ta meile andnud, mida me ei saa, me ei saa selgitada. But I'm going to do my best this morning to try to explain it a little bit. Aga ma annan endast parima, et täna seda natukene selgitada. About why we are so happy that we have a risen Savior. Miks me oleme nii õnnelikud, et meil on ülestõusnud päästja. And so we have talked about some biblical guidelines on how to be happy over the past uh, couple of months. Me oleme natukene rääkinud Biibli juhistest, kuidas olla õnnelik viimaste kuude jooksul. We talked about being thankful. Me rääksime sellest, et olla tänulik. We talked about having the right focus in our lives. Et meil oleks õige fookus elus. We talked about how we forgive. Sellest, kuidas me andestame. We talked about how we have uh, the, the right spiritual warfare in our life. Kuidas pidata õigesti võimselt sõda. We talked Kui about how we are to release the burdens. Kuidas anda ära koormaid. And then last week we talked about not letting our questions keep us from being happy. Ja viimane nädal me rääksime sellest, kuidas hoiduda sellest, et küsimused, mis meil on, ei hoiaks meid olukorras, kus me ei saa olla õnnelikud. And so I encourage you to go back and to, to listen to this material online. Ja ma julgustan sind, et sa mined lähed ja vaatad, mis meil on üleval. It's why it's there. Vaadata üle, ülekannetena, tagant järgi. And, and so, uh, you know, we have no reason to be sad. Meil ei ole mingit põhjust olla kurb. We have no reason to be down in life. Meil ei ole mingit põhjust olla elus all. God has given us every reason to be alive. Jumal on andnud meile kõik põhjused olla elus. Because Jesus is alive. 
And so for today, I want to give you the biggest reason to be happy. And the biggest reason we have to be happy is our Savior rose again on the third day. That's amazing. Thank you for that. Amen. That's amazing. Amen. Your Savior rose again on the third day. And because you, you have, have, have received him as your Lord. His, his life gives you life. Because he is alive, we can now live. And we, we serve a risen Savior and that helps us to be more in life. When we know who we serve, and when we realize what is available to us, it makes us better. Say, I'm going to be better. I'm going to be better. Amen? We can be better in life because He lives. But uh, nothing will satisfy you. Nothing will make you as happy as having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Other things will try to, 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 to keep you uh, happy for a moment. But nothing else will give you a lasting joy. And you could walk through some very difficult and sad times of your life. Ja sa võid minna elus läbi kurbadest ja rasketest aegadest. And at the same time there can be peace and joy in your heart. Ja samal ajal on sinu südames rõõm ja rahu. That is what gives us the strength to live. Ja see annab meile jõudu elamiseks. As we look to our Christ, our risen Savior. Kui me vaatame Kristuse peale oma ülestõusnud päästa. And so most of you know what happened to Jesus in this last week. And the 2,000 years ago. He entered into the city with shouts of joy. And, and uh, you know, they were, they were calling him the king. Then just a few days later, they were shouting crucify him. And isn't it amazing what, what a day will do? How quickly people's opinions will change even of you. And they change very quickly the Savior of the world. But you need to know this was God's plan from the very beginning. This had to happen. This had to take place. And so, so he, he went to the cross. He, Jesus lived this amazing life. He lived the perfect life. He lived a holy life. He lived a powerful life. And then he goes to the cross to die. And we talked about this a little bit on Friday. That, that on the cross, he would not have been able to die unless he had sin. But, but he had not sinned. He was perfect. And so what happened on the cross is that God supernaturally made him to be sin for us. So that then he could die for us. And then he died after he had shed his pure blood but then, uh, so Friday he was crucified. Saturday it was silent. But then on the third day, say the third day. On the third day, something amazing happened. And I want to, want to start reading here out of Luke chapter 24. Ja ma alustan lugemist Luuka evangeeliumist. Luke chapter 24, I'm going to start reading with verse 1. We're going to read several verses in this chapter. Ja ma loen Luuka 24. peatükist ja me loeme siit mitu salmi. It says, but 
very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb taking spices that they had prepared. Aga nädala esimesel päeval puhtajal läksid naised hauale viies ühes lõhnarohud. And they, found, and they found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. Ja nad leidsid kivi hauvalt ära veeretatud. And so they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. Siis nad läksid sisse, kui ta ei leidnud mitte isenda Jeesus ehu. And as they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them in, uh, clothed in dazzling robes. Ja kui nad sellepärast kahe vahel olid vaata, Siis seisid kaks meest nende kõrval säravaagis riideis. And the women were terrified and they bowed with their faces to the ground and the men asked, why are you looking among the dead for somebody who is alive? Aga kui naised hakkasid kartma ja oma silmad maha lõid, ütlesid mehed neile, miks te elavad otsite surnute juurest? He isn't here, he is risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee. Tema ei ole siin, vaid on üles tõusnud. Meelde, mis ta teile rääkis veel olles. The Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day. Kui ta teile ütles, et inimese poeg antakse patuste inimeste kätte ja lüüakse risti, ja kolmandal päeval ta tõuseb jälle üles. And so when the, 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 the ladies show up at the tomb, because they had not had time to prepare Jesus' body the right way for a burial. When Jesus died on the cross, it was coming to the Sabbath. And there was a rich man who offered his tomb that he had prepared for himself to Jesus. But then the, the uh, Roman soldiers, they, they, they uh, sealed the tomb with a large stone. And they had guards there to make sure that nobody was going to take Jesus' body. And so after the Sabbath, the, the ladies wanted to go and prepare Jesus' body in the normal way for burial. So they showed up at the tomb. And they, I, I don't know what they thought they were going to do about the stone. I guess they just thought we'll deal with that problem when we get there. But they just showed up, but the, the stone had already been moved away. They walk in and there is no body. Ja kui nad sisse läksid, siis see ei olnud seal enam ihu. The Bible in another, uh, one of the Gospels says that his burial clothes were laying there, but Jesus was gone. Üks osad evangeeliumid ütlevad, et seal olid küll need suri linad, aga Jeesust enam ei olnud. They're looking around, looking at each other, what do we do? Vaatasid ringi, vaatavad üksteise otsa ja ütlevad, et mis me teeme? And angels show up. Ja siis ilmuvad sinna inglid. Man, isn't that awesome? The, the same angels that came and declared that Jesus was born. Now show up and declare Jesus has risen again. And so these angels are proclaiming the gospel. Your Savior is risen. And he has conquered death. Ja ta on võitnud surma. And he lives. Ja ta elab. And he lives so that you can live. Ja ta elab, nii et sina saad elada. You're not going to find him here. Ja ta ei, ta ei leia teda siit. That's awesome. See on super. This day changed the world for eternity. See päev muutis maailma ajalu igaveseks. And so Jesus appears then to his disciples after this. Ja siis ilmub Jeesus jüngritele peale seda. And he begins to teach them all about what the what the, the scriptures had said about him. And now the scriptures are making so much more revelation in the minds of these young men. Ja nüüd kirjad hakkavad nende jaoks 
palju enam elama ja aru, nad hakkavad sellest aru saama. Because their understanding the sacrifices of the Old Testament was all talking about Jesus. Nad hakkavad mõistma, et kõik vana testamenti need ohvrid viitasid Jeesusele. That everything that the Bible had said that Messiah would do, Jesus did. Kõik, mida piibel ütles, et Messia saab tegema, kõike seda Jeesus tegi. And everything that was promised was fulfilled. Ja kõike, mida oli töötatud, kõik sai täidetud. So Jesus began to show his disciples this throughout the whole Bible. Nii et Jeesus hakkab näitama seda neile läbi kogu piibli. And then he explains why he had to die. Ja siis ta selgitab neile, miks ta pidi surema. And then let's jump down here in the same chapter of Luke 24. Ja siis lähme samas peatükis Luuka 24 alla poole. And let's go to verse 46 and I'm going to read through verse 49. Ja ma alustan Luuka 24, 46 lukemisest kuni 49. Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he says this. Ja Jeesus räägib oma jüngritele ja ütleb järgmist. Yes, it was written long ago that the Messiah would suffer and die and rise from the dead on the third day. Ja ta ütles neile, nõnd on kirjutatud, et Messias pidi kannatama ja kolmandal päeval üles tõusma surnust. It was also written that this message would be proclaimed with authority of his name to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. Ja tema nimel peab kuulutatama meele parandust patuda andeks andmiseks kõigi rahvaste seas, alates Jerusalemast. There is forgiveness of sin for all who repent. Saab olema patuda andeks andmine kõikidele neile, kes parandavad meelt. Verse 48. You are witnesses of all these things. And now I will send the Holy Spirit just as my father had promised. But stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you with power from heaven. And so Jesus had reminded them of what he had already told them before. Before he died, he said, I will die, but I'll rise again. And then he challenged them. And he challenges us today. To take this message to the whole world. That the sins are forgiven. But you are not to do this in your own strength. Because when you try to do it in your own strength, it will not have results. But you are to do it with some power that we receive from heaven. There was more that they were to become. And because Jesus had risen, they were able to become more in life. And you need to know this about you. Because Jesus is alive. The power of God can come on the inside of you and make you better. And there is something more that they were going to receive. He said the Holy Spirit will come and he will fill you with power. There is power available because Jesus is alive. Later Paul got this revelation. He said the same power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead lives in you. And so we need power to accomplish God's purpose for our lives. You need power to fulfill your destiny. And it cannot happen unless Jesus rose again on the third day. Ja see ei saa juhtuda muidu kui, et Jeesus ei oleks üles tõusnud surnust kolmandal päeval. I'm sorry, but if Jesus rose again, aga kui Jeesus tõusis kolmandal päeval, then that means you have power. See tähendab seda, et sul on nüüd vägi. You have power available to you. Sul on vägi, mis on sulle saadav all. And so this makes you become a better person. See saab teha nii, et sa saad olla parem inimene. The Bible says that we become born again. 
Bible ütleb, et me sünnime uuesti. We are no longer like we were. Me ei ole enam need, kes me olime. We become better because of Jesus. Me muutume paremaks Jeesuses tõttu. Now you can boldly go out and do what he asks you to do. Ja nüüd sa võid vapralt minna ja teha seda, mida ta palub sul teha. You can boldly go into the world and accomplish all that he has called you to do in life. Sa võid julgelt minna kõike maailma ja saavutada kõike seda, mida ta on meile öelnud, et tuleks teha. Telling the world that he loves them. Öelda maailmale, et ta armastab neid. Amen. Tell the world that he forgives them. Öelda maailmale, et ta on andestanud. Tell the world that they could have new life. Öelda maailmale, et neil saab olla uus elu. Because he lives. Kuna tema elab. We can live. Meie saame elada. And so this is the message that is going to change the world. See on sõnum, mis muudab maailma. And it started 2000 years ago. Ja see algas 2000 aastat tagasi. And so our risen Savior now has authority, the Bible tells us. Nii et meie üles tõusnud päästjal on nüüd meelevald. He has authority in heaven and on earth. Temal on meelevald taevas ja maa peal. And there is no power in hell that can touch Jesus. Ei ole mingit võimu või väge, mis saaks puudutada Jeesust. And there's no power in hell that can stop the church. Ja ei ole mingit väge põrgus, et mis saaks puudutada kogudust. How many are thankful for that? Ja kas paljud meist on tänulis? Amen. Because he is alive. Kuna tema on elus. He has power. Siis temal on vägi. He said this in Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. Ilmutuse raamatusse ja esimene peatük ja 18 ütleb nii. Jesus says this. He says, I am the living one. I died, but look. I am alive forever and ever. And then he says here at the end of this verse, he says, and I hold the keys to death and the grave. In other words, death cannot hold us. Teisi sõnu, surmal ei ole enam meie üle võimu. The grave cannot hold us. Amen. We won't know what death is as a believer in Christ. Because Jesus is alive. And I'm telling you, he is still alive today. He didn't just rise again and then die when he was an old man. He rose again and he went to heaven. And he is still alive in heaven and he will be alive forever. And those who believe in him receive that eternal life in them as well. And so this was the victory that the cross gave to the world. To anybody who would believe in him they would receive life. And now Christ Jesus has, 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 has purchased life for every believer. And he has paid for the death of every believer. So as a believer, you will never know what it, is, what it means to die. What do I mean when I say that? I'm saying your body will, will someday, once you've run your course, your body will stop functioning. One day, if you live long enough, if Jesus doesn't come back, your fleshly body will die. But the real you on the inside, it will go from here to the presence of God. Instantly. Amen. Aren't you thankful for that? We won't know what death is. We will just leave this body and step behind the curtain to eternal life. And so, so, so you will actually never die. Amen. Amen. You will never die. The real you on the inside will live forever. And not only do we have the gift of eternal life, but I want you to know this this morning. 
aga ma tahan et sa teaksid ka seda tänavikul. That you have also been changed already. Ma tahan et sa oled tegelikult juba muudetud. And you have help in this life. Ja sul on abi selles elus. There is so much available to you. There's more than what you even know. Nii palju on kätte saata, nii palju rohkemat kui saimad. And we have God's help in life. Ja meil on Jumal abi selles elus. So that you are able to go from wherever it is that you are today. Nii et sa saad minna, kus iganes sa praegu oled oma elus. To where it is that God wants you to be. Sinna, kus Jumal tahab, et sa oled. And that's going to be a different race for each and every one of us to run. Ja iga ühe jaoks on see erine võidu jaoks, mida ta jooksab. God has a different call for every person in this room and every person in the world. Jumalal on iga ühe jaoks eraldi kutse igal ühele siin kogu maailmas. But as we follow him, aga kui me teda järgime, he will lead us to our destiny. Siis see juhita meid meie saatusesse. He will lead us to an amazing life. Siis ta juhib meid imelisse elusse. And this is God's plan for the world. Ja see on Jumala plaan maailma. And God wants you just the way that you are. Ja Jumal tahab sind täpselt sellisena nagu sa oled. But he doesn't want to leave you where you are. Aga ta ei taha jätta sind sinna kohta, kus sa praegu täna oled. Amen. He wants you to go to something bigger and something better. Ta tahab, et sa läheksid kuhugi paremasse, suuremasse kohta. And so the same God who supernaturally made Jesus to be sin on the cross. See sama Jumal, kes üle loomulikult tegi Jeesuse patuks ristil. Is the same God who makes you alive in Christ Jesus. On see sama Jumal, kes teeb sind elavaks Kristuses Jeesuses. So that you could live for him. Nii et sa saad elada temale. And I am so thankful that we do not have to get stuck. Ja ma olen nii tänulik, et me ei pea olema kinni. In all the things that we've done in our past. Kõikides asjades, mis me oleme teinud minevikus. That we could look to him. Aga me saame vaadata tema peale. And we could receive real life. Ja me saame tõelise elu. How many are thankful for that this morning? Paljud on tänulikud selle eest. Amen. You are not judged by who you were. Sinu üle, sind ei hinnata selle järgi, kes sa olid. You are judged by who he is. Vaid sinu üle mõistatakse kohut selle järgi, kes tema on. And all that Jesus did. Ja kõik, mida Jeesus tegi. He did it for you. Tegi ta sinu jaoks. He did it for you. Tegi ta sinu jaoks. He did it for you. Ta tegi sinu jaoks seda kõike. He came for you. Ta tuli sinu pärast. He lived for you. For you. Ta elas sinu jaoks. He died for you. Ta suri sinu pärast. He rose again for you. Ja ta tõusis uuesti üles sinu pärast. And now he is in heaven waiting for you. Ja nüüd on ta taevas ja ootab sind. Everything he did was about you. Kõik, mida ta tegi, oli seotud sinuga. He saw each and every one of us in every step of his life. Ja ta nägi igalt ühte meist igal oma elus ammul. And so all that he did, he did for us. Ja kõik, mida ta tegi, ta tegi meie jaoks. And I promise you some things here this morning. I promise you that nobody will ever love you like he loves you. I promise you nobody will ever care for you like he cares for you. I promise you nobody will change your life like he can. Amen. That's my guarantee to you this morning. And so we just look to him. Nii et me vaatame lihtsalt tema peale. Because he is our risen savior. Sest tema on üles tõusnud päästa. Go with me to Ephesians chapter 2. Lähme koos minuga Efeslaste kirja. Ephesians chapter 2, I'm going to start reading here with verse 4 and verse 5. Ja ma loen Efeslaste kirjast teises peatükist salmid 4 ja 5. It says, but God who was rich in mercy, he loved us so much. Aga Jumal, kes on rikas alastuselt. That even though we were dead in our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. On meid, kus Kristusega teinud elavaks oma suure armastuse pärast, millega ta meid on armastanud, kuigi me olime surnud üle astumistes, armu läbi te olete päästatud. Say grace. Ütle arm. Grace. Aren't you thankful for the grace of God? Kas sa oled tänulik ka Jumala armu eest? That he looked past who you were and said, I love you anyway. Ja ta vaatas kõigest mööda, mis sinus on ja ütles, et ma armastan siin iga tahes. And he forgives your sin. Ja ta andestab su patu. And he gives you new life. Ja annab sulle uue elu. That's the grace of God. See on Jumala arm. But it says here that you were, you were, you were dead in your sin. Ütleb siin, et sa olid surnud oma patus. But you were made alive. Aga siin tehti elavaks. And he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. Ja ta andis sulle elu, kui ta tõstis Jeesuse Kristuse üles surnud. The life that you have received. Elu, mis sa oled saanud. Is going to be greater than anything that you will ever, ever know. On suurem kui miski, mida sa eales teada tunned. And even when you were dead, God loved you. Ja 
Isegi siis, kui sa olid surnud, siis Jumal armastas. When you were spiritually separated from him is what that means. Ja see tähendab seda, et sa olid vaimselt Jumalast eraldatud. He loved you. Siis ta armastas sind. And he gave you spiritual life. Ja ta andis sulle vaimse elu. Brought you back to himself. Tõi tagasi sind enda juurde. And this was God's plan from the very beginning. Ja see oli Jumala plaan kõige algusest peale. That he would send Jesus to provide a way for us to come back et ta saatis Jeesuse, kes annab meile tee tema juurde. And then Jesus opened the way for us to go to the Father. Ja Jeesus avas meile tee, et me saame minna isa juurde. And he pulled us back to himself. Ja ta tõmbas meid tagasi enda juurde. And all we have to do to access that, that life ja kõik, mida me peame tegema, et sellele elule ligi pääseda, on lihtsalt uskuda Jeesusesse. Believe that the Son of God went to the cross for us uskuda, et Jumala poeg läks meie pärast ristile. But by the power of God on the third day, he rose from the dead. Aga Jumala väe läbi kolmandal päeval tõusis ta üles surnust. And so because Jesus is alive, ja kuna Jeesus on elus, we could become alive. Siis saame meie saada elusaks. That makes us more in this life. Ja see, me saame olla enamat siin elus. You can become better. It doesn't mean that you're better than everybody else. That's not what I'm saying. But you can be better than you are right now. Amen. He'll make you better. He'll make you more. That's the power of God. He's got a call for you to accomplish in your life. And we need to tap into that power. We need to believe that he loves us. We need to believe that his power is in us. And then we need to expect that power to show up. And I believe when we do that he will help us to be a success in life. Ja kui sa seda usud, siis, sa, oh, siis sinul on elus edu. Jesus is our access to more power. Jeesus on meie ligi pääs rohkemale väele. Without him, we can do nothing, the Bible says. Ilma temata, ütleb Biibel, ei saame teha midagi. But I am thankful that with him, Aga ma olen tänulik, et koos temaga, we can get into God's plan for the world. Um, we can join God's plan for the world. We can join God's plan for us. And we can be a success. And we can prosper in everything that we do. God wants to use you for his glory. And so the power that raised Christ from the dead is the power that's going to help you to live life. Ja et see sama vägi, mis äratas Jeesuse Kristuse üles surnust, on see sama vägi, mis aitab lasta, mis aitab sind elada seda elu. And I want to read to you out of John chapter 14, one of the most amazing things that Jesus said. Ma tahan lukeda Johannes evangeeliumi 14. peatukist ühe kõige imelisem asja, mida Jeesus on öelnud. John chapter 14, I want to read verse 12. Ja Johannes evangeeliumist 14 ja 12 loen. Again, Jesus is teaching his disciples at the end of his ministry. Siin on siis Jeesus õpetab oma jõngreid enda teenistuse lõpul. And he said, I tell you the truth, anyone who believes in me will do the works that I have done and even greater works because I am going to be with the Father. Ja Johannes 14, 12, tõesti, tõesti ma ütlen teile, kes usub minusse, see teeb neid samu tegusid, mida mina teen. Ja ta teeb nendest hoopis suuremaid, sest mina lähen isa juurde. All believers carry this call. Kõik, kõigil usklikel on see kutsa. That when you are united with Jesus, et kui sa oled ühendatud Jeesusega, you have something that you are to do. Siis on midagi, mida, mis, mida sa peaksid tegema. And Jesus said that you'll go out and you'll do the same things that I've been doing. Ja Jeesus ütles, et sina lähed ja teed neid samude kusid, mida mina olen teinud. Aga sa teed isegi suuremaid. Listen, connecting with this power is fun. Selle väega, olla ühenduses sellise väega on lõbus. Amen. Amen. It's supernatural. See on üle loomulik. It is helping people. See aitab inimesi. It is strengthening the church. See tugevdab kogudust. When we tap into the power that is available to us, Kui me ühendame ennast selle väega, mis annab meile jõu. We're going to be doing what Christ would do if he were here. Ja siis me saame tegema neid asju, kui tema oleks siin, Kristus. And listen, Jesus did amazing things. 
Ja Jeesus tegi imelisi asju. Just read a few, few chapters in the Gospels and you will see he did amazing things. Ja ta tegi väga imetsus värsed asju, kui sa loed evangeeliumeid. But church, you can do amazing things too. Aga kogudus, sina saad ka teha imelisi asju. You can do amazing things too. Halleluja. Sina saad ka teha imelisi asju. There's nothing that's impossible. Ei ole midagi, mis oleks võimatu. If you will just believe that this power that raised Christ from the dead is in you. Kui sa usud, et see sama vägi, mis tõstis Jeesuse Kristuse üles surnust, on sinu sees. What did Jesus do? Mida Jeesus tegi? He healed the sick. Et ta tervendas haigeid. He caused the eyes that no longer saw to see. Ta tegi pimedaid silmi nägema, näge, nägevaks. He set people free. Ta tegi inimesi vabaks. Spiritually and, and emotionally. Vaimselt, emotsionaalselt. And he spoke with wisdom. Ta rääkis tarkusega. He gave instruction. And he gave people a purpose for their lives. And this is what we can be a part of too. We can be a part of this great plan that God has on the earth. And we believe in him. And we believe that power is at work in us. And then we are led by the Holy Spirit. And listen, you do that you will do great things. Usu ja kuula mind, sina teed suuri asju. Amen. Ja Jesus amen. said you will do great things. Jeesus ütles, et sa saad tegema suuri asju. What is great for you? Mis on sinu jaoks suur? Well, some of, somebody might say it was just great that I came to church this morning. Well, yeah, that's great. Kui sa ütled, et täna on suur, suur asi minu jaoks, et ma tulin täna kogudusse, siis see on suur, suure pärane. I'm glad you're here. Ma olen rõõmus, et sa oled siin. But you need to know that there's greater things that God has for you. Aga sa peaksid teadma seda, et Jumalal on suuremaid asju sinu jaoks. Amen. There's Amen. greater things that God has planned for you. On suuremaid asju, mida Jumal on sinu jaoks plan, plan, planeerinud. And he said, let my life work in you. Las minu valgus töötab sinu sees. Let, let my power work in you. Las minu vägi töötab sinu sees. And you will do great things. Ja sina teed, saad tegema suuri asju. As you are led by the Spirit of God. Kui sa oled Jumala valmust juhitud. You will touch the people around you in your life and they will know that there's a God in heaven. Siis sa puudutad neid inimesi enda ümber ja nad teavad, et on taegas Jumal. And so there is a power that comes. Nii et on vägi, mis tuleb. And when you give your life to Jesus, ja kui sa annad oma elu Jeesusele, there's an absolutely new experience that you have on the inside. Siis on see täiesti uus kogemus sinu sees. That power that crucified, or that, 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 the power that raised and crucified Jesus. See vägi, mis tõstis Jeesus üles, mis ta risti lõi. It's the same power that raises you. On see sama vägi, mis sind tõstab. It gives you life. Mis annab sulle elu. You come in contact with something that is greater than any high the world could give you. Sa lähed ühendusse millegagi, mis on suurem kui mis iganes lastpark. You can't get a greater high from the world. Et sa ei saa mitte midagi suuremat saada maailmast. Amen. Amen. It's amazing what Christ can do to set you free. See on imeline, mida Jeesus saab teha, et sind vabaks teha. When you receive salvation, you know something happened on the inside. Kui sa said pääsetud, siis sa tead, et sinu sees juhtus midagi. And it will change you forever. Ja see muutis sind igaväseks. And this is my, my big point here today. It will make you better. Ja mu suur mõte täna on selles, et see muudab sind paremaks. It will make you more than who you were. See muudab sind palju enamaks, kui sa olid enne. Because the life of God will be at work in you. Sest, et Jumala elu on tegev ja toimib sinu sees. And all we have to do is believe in him. Mida, mida ainult, mida me peame tegema, on uskuma. And then accept him as our Lord and Savior. Uskuma temasse ja võtma ta vastu, kui enda päest ja, ja isanda. And his life gives you life. Ja tema elu annab sulle elu. And so go with me to John chapter 15. Tule minu ka Johannese evangeeliumisse 15. John chapter 15. Johannese 15. Again, the, you need to know that there is, there is help and there is power available. Et sul on vaja teada, et on abi ja on vägi saadaval. And one of the ways that we access this power in our life is through prayer. Ja üks viis, kuidas me saame ligi sellele väele, on läbi palve. You need to know that you are not alone in this life. 
Amen. Jesus said, wait until you've received this power so that I can help you. And then here in John chapter 15, verse 7. He said, if you live in me and I live in you, ask whatever you want and I will do it. We can get to this place through a relationship with Jesus. Then by being faithful to do what he called you to do. You can connect to his great plan for the earth. And you can pray out his will. And the power of God will show up. And answer those prayers. You need to know you don't have to do this by yourself. I'm thankful I know I don't have to do this by myself. We have one another. But we have him. And all of us should be looking to him. All of us should be putting our hope and our trust in him. And so by faith we do what he called us to do. And he will help us to become more in life. And so the power of prayer was opened up by Jesus when he rose from the dead. You no longer have to go to a priest to get your prayers answered. I'm thankful for that. Because I have enough time praying about my stuff. I don't want to have to pray about your stuff. <laughs> you all can pray about your own stuff. Because Jesus Christ has made a way for you to be able to access the Father directly. So prayer should be a part of your every day. When you pray in the, in the power of God, you're praying in the power that, that means Jesus is risen. And because he has risen, I have authority to ask the will of God to be done in this situation. And it will be done. Jesus gave us that promise. So you can boldly go to the Father because of Jesus. Don't, you don't have to back down to, to the lies of the enemy that says you're not worthy. Jesus makes you worthy. Amen. You're not worthy by what you do. You're worthy because of him. And prayer is fun when you know how to connect to God. When you pray out what the Lord has called you to do. Prayer is fun. And you're going to see answers. And it's going to make you more bold to pray for more things. You know, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, Paul wrote this. He said, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me the strength. Aren't you thankful that, that, that we have this to hold on to for ourselves? You need to know that you don't need to live life on your own strength. There is a power from heaven that will help you. The power that was released on the world when Jesus rose from the dead. Went to heaven. Offered his blood for you. Power came down. And the Holy Spirit is now on the inside of each and every one. Everyone who believes can tap into that power 
Sa pöhendad on ennast selle jõuga väga. Access this new life that we've been given in Christ Jesus. Pääseda ligi sellele elule, mis meil on antud Jeesuses Kristus. And you pray out the plan of God. Ja sa palvetad Jumala tahet. And you've been called by God to a good life. Ja Jumal on kutsunud sind elama head elu. How many are thankful that it's a good life? Kui paljud meist on tänulikud, et see on hea elu. I'm glad that God didn't call us all to live like in isolation or something. Ma olen rõõmus, et Jumal ei ole kutsunud meid elama eraldatuses. Like you get saved and you just hear all by yourself. Et sa oled küll päästetud, aga sa oled oma ette. No, he said you get saved, you come together and you be stronger together. Et te olete päästetud ja te tulete kokku ja olete koos tugevamad. And you need to know that you are not alone. Ja sul on vaja teada, et sa ei ole üksi. There is freedom. On vabadus. You need to know that the creator, your heavenly father, sinu looja, sinu taevane isa on sinuga koos. He is for you. Ta on sinu poolt. He wants the very best in your life. Ta tahab sinu elus kõige paremat. You need to know that there is power on the inside of you. Sa pead teadma, et sinu sees on vägi. That is going to strengthen you every day of your life. Mis see tugevdab sind igal sinu elupäeval. You need to know that you are part of a church family who will support you. Sa oled osa kogudusest, mis sind toetab. And who will encourage you. Ja kes sind julgustab. This is what we are a part of. See on see, millest me oleme osa. And we are brought into all of this because Jesus rose from the dead. Ja me oleme selles see toodud selle tõttu, et Jeesus tõusis üles surnust. This is the joy of being a believer. See on usklik, usklikuks olemise rõõm. This is what makes me happy in life. See on see, mis teeb mind elus õnnelikuks. Knowing that I serve a Savior who gives me power to live. Et ma teenin päästjad, kes annab mulle väe elada. And this is why we come together to celebrate. Ja see on see, mida me tuleme kokku ja pühitseme seda. And this is the reason that Jesus is the center of everything that we do. See tõttu on Jeesus kõige keskmes, mida me teeme. And we have found real life. Ja me oleme leidnud tõelise elu. Amen. We found something real. Me oleme leidnud midagi tõelist. And we are going to do our best to tell the world how good he is. Ja me anname endast parima, et rääkida maailmale, kes ta on. And so you have a call. Nii et sul on kutsung. You have a call of God to go out and be happy. Sul on kutse Jumalalt minna ja olla rõõmus. You have a call of God on your life to go out and be effective. Minna ja olla tulemuslik. You have a call of God on your life to go out and be prosperous. You have a call of God upon your life to go out full of the Holy Spirit. Minna ja olla täidetud püha vaimuga. And go make a difference in the lives around you. Minna ja tuua muutus nendesse, kes on sinu elus. And you are no longer to be moved by fear. Sind ei peaks liigutama hirm. You're no longer to be moved by sadness. Sa ei peaks, sind ei peaks liigutama paigalt ära kurgus. Don't be moved by fear or by doubt. Ära lase ennast liigutada hirmul või kahtlustel. Don't let those things cause you to make decisions in your life. Ära lase neil asjadel teha sinu eest otsuseid. Those emotions will come. Need emotsioonid tulevad. Those feelings might come. Need tunded võivad tulla. But we are not moved by that. Aga see ei peaks meid liigutama. We keep looking to Jesus. Sest me jätkame Jeesuse poole vaatama. He is the answer for each and every one of us. Tema on iga ühe jaoks meie seast vastus. And so when you have an encounter with Jesus, Nii et kui sa kohtud Jeesusega, siis sa muutud seest teistsuguseks. Elu tuseb üles sinu seest. Ja sul on vaja teada, et kuna tema elab, siis ka sina elad. Ja see kohtumine Jeesusega muudab sind paremaks. Ja pühavaim tuleb. Ja see võib empower you to live your life. Ja ta annab sulle jõu elada sinu elu. You have power to be more than what you are today. Sul on vägi olla palju enamad, kui sa oled täna. You have power to be better. Sul on vägi olla parem. And that power of a risen Savior is what makes you better. Ja see ülest tõusnud pääst ja vägi on see, mis teeb meid paremaks. Amen. Say, I serve a risen Savior. Ütle. Ma teenin üles tõusnud päästjat. I serve a risen Savior. Ma teenin üles tõusnud päästjat. Amen. I am thankful that we have that as our confession. Ma olen tänulik, et see on meie tunnistus. Because if he is alive, kuna tema on elus, then everything that he said he was going to do, he did. Kõik, mida ta lubas teha, ta tegi. Amen. That's what seals the promise. Ja see pitseerib selle tõetuse. It doesn't matter what he promised before that. 
ei ole oluline, mida ta ennem seda lubas. If he died and stayed dead, it's an empty promise. Kui ta oleks surnud, ei jäänud surnuks, oleks need olnud tühjad lubadused. But if he rises again on the third day, aga kuna ta eratet üles surnuks kolmandal päeval, that means that everything that he said can come to pass in your life. Siis see tähendab seda, et kõik, mida ta ütles, saab saada sündima sinu elus. Jesus is alive. Jeesus on elus. He was seen by hundreds of people. Teda nähti sadade inimeste poolt. There is power available because he is alive. Ja on saadaval vägi see tõttu, et tõmme on elus. And they watched him go to heaven. Ja nad nägid, et ta läks ära taevasse. And the Bible says that he is there waiting for you. Ja Bibel ütleb, et ta on seal ja ootab sind. And so I want to read one last scripture. Ja ma loen ühe viimase kirjakoha. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 6. Roomlaste kirjast ja peatud kuus. You know, I could take time to go through many examples in the Bible this morning about how an encounter with God will make you better. Ma võiks piiblist leida palju näiteid selle kohta, kuidas Jumala vägi muudab paremaks. And I hope that you can take some time as you read the Bible to see, see how God made them better, see how God made them better, see how God made them better. Et sa võtad ise aega ja loed neid, kuidas Jumala vägi tegid teda ja teda ja teda paremaks. And everybody that comes in contact with him iga üks, kes puutub kokku temaga becomes better. Muutub paremaks. Amen. That's awesome. See on imeline. And that can happen to you. Ja see võib juhtuda sinuga. If you just believe. Ja kui sa lihtsalt usud. And the greatest thing about serving the Lord. Ja parim asi isanda teenimisel. Is when we put him first. On kui me paneme tema esimeseks. His power will show up and provide the way for us. Siis tema väge ilmub välja ja valmistab meile tee. And so we can be used by God. Nii et Jumal saab meid kasutada. And God is a good God. Ja Jumal on hea Jumal. The life that he has for you is a good life. Elu, mis tal on sinu jaoks, see on hea elu. And yes, there are valleys. Ja on orud. How many have ever gone through a valley? Kes on läbi läinud, läbi orgu? Right, it's not always the tips where this, the scenery is beautiful. Ei ole alati, et on kõik on ainult tipud, kus on ilus vaatevali. But sometimes we're going through the valleys. Aga mõnikord me läheme läbi orgude. But you need to know if you're going through a valley this morning. Et kui sa lähed täna omikul läbi mingist orust, that God will bring you through. Et Jumal viib sind sellest läbi. By his power, he will not leave you in the valley. Tema väe läbi, ta ei jäta sind sinna orgu. Amen. He will help you. Tema aitab sind. He will help you. Tema aitab sind. He is with you. Tema on sinuga kool. He is for you. Ta on sinu pool. And there is forgiveness. Ja on andeks andeks. And there is freedom. Ja vabadus. And you have access to eternal life. Ja sul on ligi pääs igave selle elule. Eternal life is what this is all about. Ja see igaven elu on just see, milles, mis on kõik. So I want to read here out of Romans chapter 6. Ja ma loen Roomlaste kuus. And I want to read verse 22. Ja see on 22. It says, but now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit that you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. Roomlaste kuus 22. Nüüd aga, kui te olete vabastatud patust ja saanud Jumala teenriteks, et te kannate vilja pühitsuseks ja selle tulemus on igavene elu. This verse right here, you could preach a whole message on it. It gives you all the points for your great message. Ja see üks, ainult see üks kirjakoht siin annab terve, sellest võib rääkida lõpmatult. You were set free from sin. Sa oled tehtud vabaks patust. You become a servant of God. Ja sa oled saanud Jumala teenriks. And then you are led to holiness. Ja sa saate minna pühitsusse. And the result is eternal life. Ja selle tulemus on igavene elu. How many are thankful that the life in you is eternal? Paljud meist on tänulikud, et see elu, mis sinu sees on, see on igavene elu. I'm so thankful for that. Ma olen nii tänulik selle eest. I'm thankful for what he gave to us. Tänulik selle eest, mis ta andis meile. When he rose out of the grave. Kui ta tõusis üles hauast. It wasn't about him. See ei olnud temaga seotud. It was about us. See oli seotud meie sinuga. You need to know it was about you. See oli seotud sinuga. It was about you. See oli kõik sinu pärast. And so we are to live a normal Christian life. Nii et me peaksime elama tavalist kristliku elu. We are to live a godly lifestyle. Jumala kardliku elu. And it is important that the world sees that you are changed. Ja et on tähtis, et... Et maailm näeks, et sa oled muutunud. But it's an important mentality that you have. Aga on oluline, et see mõttevis, mis sul on. That you go out and change the world. Et 
sa lähed ja muudad maailma. You carry this message that Jesus was talking about. Et sa kannad seda sõnumit, millest Jeesus rääkis. And he said, you will go do great things for me. Ja ta ütles, et sa lähed teed suuri asju minu, ja, minu pärast. We have a call of God. Meil on kutse Jumalalt. To not just stay who we are. Mitte jääda selleks, kes me, kes me olime. But to go be better. Aga minna ei olla paremad. Amen. Amen. You can be better. Sa võid olla parem. You can win in life. Sa saad võita elus. You can be more than what you are today. Sa saad olla enamat, kui sa oled täna. Because he lives. Sest tema elab. Because he lives. Sest ta elab. Hallelujah. And so there is so much that's available. Nii et väga palju on, mis on meile kätte saadav. And what I love about Jesus. Ja mida ma armastan Jeesus. And the story of his death and him rising from the, from the dead. Ja tema selles surma loos ja üles tõusmises. Is when you get a revelation of that, it brings great joy. Kui sa saad sellest ilmutusliku aru saama, siis see toob sulle suurt rõõmu. And as you follow the Holy Spirit and let him lead you through life. Ja kui sa oled jõidud pühast vaimust, kui ta jõib sind läbi elu. Your works of love. Ja sinu armastuse teod. Your message of life that you carry to the world. Ja sinu elu sõnu, mida sa kannad laiali. It changes people. See muudab inimesi. Just as it changes you. Täpselt samamoodi nagu see muutis sind. It can change somebody else. Ja saab see muuta ka teist. And there is nobody that is beyond hearing this message. Ja ei ole mitte kedagi, kes oleks, kellele see sõnum ei, ei oleks mõeldud. There's nobody too rich. Ei ole kedagi, kes oleks liiga rikas. There's nobody too, too powerful. Liiga võimas. There's nobody too poor. Mitte kedagi, kes oleks liiga vaene selle. There's nobody that's too happy. Ja mitte kedagi, kes oleks liiga rõõmus selle that sõnumas. this message cannot help. Ja keda see sõnum ei saaks aidata. We have the greatest message for everybody in this world. Meil on suurim sõnum kellele iganes siin maailmas. And as you carry this joy, ja kui sa kannad seda rõõmu, as you get happy about what you have, ja uh, oled õnnelik selle üle, mis sul on, as you apply some biblical principles and you live on a higher level in life, ja kannad neid biibelite põhimõtteid ja tõused elus kõrgemale, it's going to bring joy to not just you, but to those around you. Siis see toob rõõmu, mitte ainult sulle, vaid ka kõikidele, kes on sinu ümber. And you can make a difference. Ja sa saad tuua muutuse. And we are just continuing the work of Jesus. Nii et meie kanname edasi Jeesuse tööd. As the church, we continue to do what he started 2,000 years ago. Nii jätkame selle tegemist, mida tema alustas 2,000 aastat tagasi. And so you can be an instrument of God. You can be used. Sina saad olla Jumala tööriist, et ta saab siin kasutada. You can do something great. Ja sa saad teha midagi suurt. And when you follow God's leading in your life, ja kui sa järgid Jumala juhtimist enda elus, you will lead people to freedom. Siis sa juhid inimesi vabadusse. You will lead people to their forgiveness. Sa juhid inimesi nende andeks saamisele. They will find life in Christ Jesus. Nad leiavad elu Kristuses Jeesus. You can help them to find that. Ja sina saad aidata neil selle leida. By sharing what he's done for you. Jagades seda, mida ta on sinu jaoks teinud. People just need to know that they're loved. Inimestel on vaja lihtsalt teada, et neid armastatakse. People need to know that they're forgiven. Neil on vaja teada, et nad on andeks saanud. And it's not by you. Mitte läbi sinu. But it's through the, the work of Christ Jesus. Aga läbi Jeesus Kristuse töö. That the heavenly father can reach down and change somebody's life. Mille läbi Jumala saab tulla ja jõuda kelle kinni. And so through the power of this new relationship that we have in Christ. Läbi selle suhte väe, mis meil on Jeesusega. It can overflow into a lot of other areas of our lives. See saab oolata üle kõikidesse teistesse valdkondadesse, mis on elus. And so I think for us as Christians this morning, ja meile kui kristlastele täna omikul, it is very important that we just make Jesus the center of our lives. On väga tähtis, et me teeme Kristuse enda elu keskmeks. And when you do, he will bless you beyond your dreams. Ja kui sa teed, siis ta õnnistab sind üle kõigis õnnistustel. He will fill you with his power. Ta täidab sind enda väega. And you can be more in life. Ja sa saad olla elus palju enamat. Amen. Would you stand with me in helmet? Tuuse koos minuga üles. And so yes, Jesus came in an amazing way through his birth. Nii et Jeesus tuli imelisel viisil läbi enda sünni. And Jesus lived an amazing perfect life. Ja ta elas imelist täiusliku elu. He was an amazing man. 
He did amazing things for God. To show the world that the Father in heaven loves them. And then he was tortured. And then he was crucified. Then he died. And he was buried. But on the third day, the power of God was released from heaven. Life came back into his body. And the exploding power of God destroyed hell, destroyed the power of death, and Jesus came out of the grave. Hallelujah. That's our message today. That makes us happy this morning. There is nothing greater than knowing your Jesus died for you. Not because you deserved it, but because he loved you so much. And he loves you this morning. He wants that relationship with each and every one of you to be closer and stronger than ever before. Closer than ever before. And so, so all of this that he did for us means that you can be more in life than what you are. His power has already made you more than what you were. But now he wants to make you more, more, more better than what you even are today. So that you can have a greater impact on the world around you. That people will see Jesus and have a relationship with him because of you. And because you believed in Jesus, because you made that supernatural connection to him spiritually, he will help you naturally. That power in you will help you to live life for him. And just by saying that you believe in him, when you invite him into your heart and into your life, you will be changed forever. And you will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. Say, I will never be the same again. Amen. I will never be the same again. And you will be better. You'll be better. You'll be better. He'll make you better. He'll strengthen you. He'll give you more life. He'll give you more joy. He'll give you more peace. He'll give you more grace. Whatever it is that you need, it will be available in Christ. And so this means you can be happy. And that's why the Bible says happy are the people whose God is the Lord. And my prayer for each and every one of you today is that you leave here today and you have a happy Easter. I hope that I've stirred your heart this morning to be more thankful for what he has done for you. Because he is risen. He is risen. He is risen. Would you just raise your hands and let's just thank God that he is alive. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for that life that we have in us. Because you live, we can live. 
Because you rose again. We can rise to new life. We, we can have your blessings in every area of life. And I thank you, Father, that we can know you in a real way. Through the blood of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we have access to heaven. We have access to your power. And so we thank you, Father, that your plan was fulfilled. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you fulfilled it all. And we are a happy church. We are a thankful people. And we will go from glory to glory. We will go from faith to faith as we put our hope and our trust in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your church. Thank you for this day. And we give you praise and we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, I can't preach a message like this without giving an invitation for people to receive Jesus. And so if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior this morning, or maybe you've had a relationship with him, but you, you felt far away from him. I want us to pray. And I want us to give our hearts and our lives to Jesus today. I want everybody to leave here knowing that the life of God and the power of God is, a, is at work in you. Amen. I don't want you to question whether you have new life or not. The life that Jesus Christ has for us is supernatural. And it is something that we can tap into today. And so what I want to do is I want to lead you in a prayer. And I want you just to repeat this prayer after me. And then we will just pray this together for everybody that, that needs to maybe be praying this for the first time. But um, what the way we're going to do it is I will say it in English. Helena will say it in Estonian. And then everybody say it in whatever language you want to say. And so let's just close our eyes. Let's just focus on the Lord. And let's pray. Jesus, I know that I need a Savior. I believe that you died on the cross. And I believe you give me forgiveness of my sin. And I believe you. You rose again. And I believe in you. And now I give my life to you. I ask you to come into my heart. And make me new. Fill me with your joy. Fill me with your love. Fill me with your power. And help me to live for you. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer today, I believe the life of God is big inside of you. It's flowing to you and flowing through you. Wherever it is that you are that you might have prayed that today, 
kus iganes sa oled ja võisid seda palvetada täna. I encourage you to get into a good Bible church. Ma julgustan sind minema heasse kogudusse. And get into what God has for you in your life. Ja mine sellesse, mis Jumalal on sinu ja su elu jaoks. But I am thankful for us as a church. Ja ma olen tänulik meie kui koguduse eest. That we have revelation about what we have in Christ. Et meil on ilmutus sellest, mis me oleme Kristuses. We know it's a good life. Ja me teame, et see on hea elu. And it just gets better. Ja see läheb aina paremaks. Amen. I am so thankful that we we have a reason to celebrate not just this Sunday but every Sunday. Mul on ma olen tänulik et meil on põhjus tähistada mitte ainult see pühapäev vaid iga pühapäev. The the church doesn't just celebrate on Easter. Kogudus ei tähista lihtsalt ülestõus mis We celebrate every day. Me tähistame iga päev. But we come every Sunday to lift up Jesus. Aga iga pühapäev me tuleme tõstame Jeesuse ülesse. To learn Ja õppime. And to get happy. Ja et me saame olla õnnelikumad. You know, I, I always say this, but you know, just because I teach a series doesn't mean that that subject ends when it's over. Ma ütlen alati seda, et, et lihtsalt see tõttu, et ma õpetan seeriates ja kui see seerial õppeb, et siis see nüüd on läbi. Because really this is this series is what should happen every time we come to church. See seeri on see, mis peaks kogu aeg toimuma iga kord, kui me tuleme kogudusse. We learn what Christ Jesus has done for us and it makes us happy. Ja me õpime ja saame teada, mida Jeesus Kristus on teinud meie jaoks ja see teeb meid õnnelikult. So we could just leave this as the title for everything I teach from now until Jesus comes. Et põhimõtteliselt see võib jääda pealkirjaks kõigele, mida me õpetame, kuni Jeesus tuleb tagasi. But we're going to come back next week. God has given me a new message. Me tuleme tagasi järgmisel pühapäeval ja Jumal on andnud mulle uue teema. A new focus for this spring season. Uue sõnumi, uue tähelepanu keva, kevad hooajale. And I'm going to call this step by step. Ja sellele ma Sam-sam. olen andnud nimeks sammu sammult. And we are going to, we're going to find out how to live this life step by step. Ja me õpime, kuidas elada seda elu samm sammult. And he's going to help us. Ja tema aitab meid. Amen. Amen. So that's going to be our new series next week. I hope you'll join us then. See on uus seeria, mis algab järgmisel nädalal pühapäeval ja siis ma loodan, et sina ka ühined meiega. Thank you for being with us on Easter Sunday. Aitäh, et sa olid koos meiega ülestõusmis pühapäeval. I want you to know as your pastor, I love you all very much. Ja sinu pastorina ma tahan, et sa teaksid, et ma armastan teid kõiki väga. But I want you to know your God loves you. Ja ma tahan, et sa teaksid, et sinu Jumal armastab sinu. Jesus did everything he did for you. Ja Jeesus tegi kõike, mis ta tegi sinu pärast. And he's coming again. Ja ta tuleb jälle. And so let's go live for him to the very best of our ability. Ja lähme ja elame tema jaoks parima võimekusse kohaselt. Amen. God bless you. Have Amen. a great week. Jumal õnnista, kui sind ja olgu sul suurepärane And nädal. We'll see you next Sunday. Ja näeme järgmisel pühapäeval. Yeah.
Happy Easter, everybody. And